Hi, I will show you now another way of importing a component which you do not have in your library. So I will go to the SAMXIS website, which is actually a service providing a component search engine. So I will select product component search engine and here I have to create my own profile. So when I log in, I create my password and everything, then I can go into search and I will search for the same component I did before. So TPS 92641 and it will find several hits including the PDFs, the prices and stuff. So and among those I will also find eCAD models and I can download it. So here I can preview this eCAD model. I see that schematics or the symbol is not that well made as before but I will still download it to see what actually I can get. So what I will get is a zip file and in this zip file I will get actually a very big range of files for different softwares and among those I will also find Altium and there is a single file on Altium here. So what can I do with that file? Well I have to go back to the website because I need to download a certain software which will be installed in Altium. So I have to click here learn more and there at the bottom I can find the library loader. I have to download it and install in Altium and when I do that I find in Altium uh, under tools I will find another item called symbols footprints 3D models and here under file as well. So I click that and here I can open that file which I just imported. Now here I, again I have to log in with my username and password and then instead of just opening that file I can search directly here. So I will click here and I will write TPS 92641 search and actually it will do the search as in the website and I will select the first link here which is the only one that has schematics and footprint and then I have to choose where I want to import that. So I will import it in the library which already exists and that is the IC general library. Well this IC general library has to be extracted first. So let me check if it is already so. So I will go to the library here, library, all the libraries and IC general. I can actually drag and drop it here in my project window. And then the Altium will ask me what should it do with it? Should it install the library or extract? I will choose extract. Now it finds out that I already did extraction because here I see the folder IC general which is already present. So I will just open existing integrated library project. Because when I extract libraries actually what it does, it um, here creates a folder IC general in which there are three files, library package, PCB library and schematics library. So this is what I need. And then I will select these uh, files in this settings in this box here. I will select that I want the schematics in the IC general schematic library and I want to put PCB in the IC general PCB library. Okay then. So it's all set and I can click on the button add to design. So now this window is adding the this model into my design. So I already did one so I will just overwrite it. Yeah. Okay, so now it did everything. Here I, hit, I see the symbol in my design already, so I can close this window now. I can go to my schematics, and in this schematics I can find this TPS chip. It's here. It's not done very well, as you can see. It is done um, as it shouldn't be, more or less. And um, it's not very useful, but you can change it if you want, of course. Okay, and what about the... PCB lib at the PCB library I can find here the footprint I think it's called SOP something okay that's a put that's the footprint and it has a 3d model as well so very useful going back to project here let me see if it works now I can click on this uh, uh, chip here what I have to do I can I have to import it in my PCB let me do that 
execute it has some errors so what are the errors I, th I don't think this is the right one because I actually have two chips now inside I will delete that one so here I have errors so it can't find the chip why not clicking on it and clicking on properties I will quickly find that it does not have a source so it's not linked to any library so I have to select I want it to be linked with IC general but before that I have to compile the library because the library hasn't been compiled after I just made it so what I will actually do it's the easiest way to delete this chip which was already placed in schematics compile the library and when it is compiled I have to check it out under components the IC general library and then I can add this chip back to my schematics and now it should work execute yeah now it works so the reason here was that it wasn't working is it was that the chip did not hasn't been linked to the library yet because it was placed before I compiled the library so it wasn't linked to it if it didn't exist at that time so that's why I had to compile it delete it and place it again which was the most I would say not too frustrating thing to do and this service um, ultra service samaxis also uh, provides a custom made uh, upon request so you can actually request a new schematics and footprint there and they will custom made it for you in 24 or 48 hours and um, yeah maybe that's useful but i think in 48 hours you can do it also by yourself and also better and again i warn you be careful not to use it blindly check it out if everything is okay if the pins are connected to patch in the right order if the dimensions are okay uh, otherwise you might have a problem and that's what we don't want